first, second cousins, best friends, second grade teachers, next door neighbor to the south who doesn't live there anymore, thanks you, as does his cousin. <sighs> I'm recovering the worst one. I am blind for all the truth that I see. Mute for all that I can speak of it betimes. Yet I am not deaf, so there is a conundrum. Why are they killed? It's a simple question, really. And today, at this tiny moment, I direct it at the Saudi government, but as you'll soon surmise, there are others holding on to the short end of this shit stick. I ask the men there why it is okay to kill their own mothers, sisters, daughters, lovers for phoning, texting, driving, enjoying the sun on their face, talking with a friend, for dreaming, of a life made up from their preferences, their choices? What does having a sense of humor, laughing beautifully, or wanting the simple things of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness have to do with brutal assaults, murderous battery, rape, slavery, or an acid slap in the face? What is it about family honor? Why, when we hear of their moaning, mournful imprecations, do we not call their men out? How is it that we recuse ourselves and do not ride to their rescue? Is it because of their hijab? Where are the good guys in the white hats? Yes, all they want are simple things, freedom of the mind, justice for the soul, and unlimited peace in their feeling, emotional hearts. When will we reach out our hands? When will we answer our own big heart's unending call for love? Inquiring minds want to know. In supplication, I proffer these considerations, these notes to everyone I know. Amen. Thank you.